is done at the start. Up and in this time. Looks like we're ready to go now. Finally, we get ready. All clear. Racing from that 1200 meter mark. First leg of this afternoon's pick six. Molten Wood was very slow when the starter said go and has dropped to the tail of the field. Lake Benjamin gets away quickly. There goes Hells a Pop and past them on the turn to go and set the pace. Parado is sitting back at the rail. Next we find Double Nelson, the yellow and black colours, sitting on the inside of Parisian Bolt. Then a gap of about four lengths further back to the novelist who is on the inside of Dogmatism and Molten Wood is racing at the end of the line and setting a good dozen lengths of that leader as they corner for home just over 600 meters left to go in front it's hells a poppin that will guide them into the straight up there in second lake benjamin barado is sitting towards their inside then we find double nelson next we got parisian bolton towards the inside the novelist as they settle for the run to the line 450 meters left to go hells a poppin along the inside lake benjamin and parado under a tight hold now starts to lengthen his stride deeper out in the turf we got parisian bolton next towards the inside we find find double Nelson into the final 200 Hells a poppin he's hanging tough up the middle of the track Parado has come under a ride as Hells a poppin finds another gear into the closing stages and Hells a poppin goes on to win it from Parado in second Parisian Bolt in third and double Nelson back in fourth so after that lengthy delay it's Hells of Poppin that wasted no time in going to the front shortly after they jumped. And it's Hells of Poppin that keeps on finding into the closing stages to win a good contest. Beats the odds on favorite Parado into second. Then we had seven Parisian Bolt in third. Two double Nelson runs off your quartet. Lake Benjamin next. Then came Dogmatism in what turned out to be quite a strung out finish head on replay three six seven and two the numbers in front hells a poppin finds that little bit extra parado has come under a ride and he's staying on for second parisian bolt is up the outside and that's the way they go to the line three six seven and two i make the numbers race three Numbers official. Winner of race three, number three, Hulls a Poppin. A T-roll, Chestnut Colt by Silvano. Out of Shiver My Timbers by Cordoba. And by Messrs. Lionel Adams, A.A. A. Parker. Ms. Dams, M. S. Braxmeyer. H. M. Harrow. And Mr. J. H. Van der Vestazen. And Two Oceans Racing, PTY Limited. Winning trainer, Patrick Crayer. Winning rider, MJ Widendall. Second to number six, Parado. Third to number seven, Parisian Bolt. Fourth to Double Nelson. Numbers, three, six, seven, two. Seventy-four point five eight, the winner's time.
Another very nice winner here at Durnville. This time the three hells are popping. Paddy Crow, MJ Udendahl team up. This fella came to the races and they certainly looked like a nice chap first time out, Paddy. And he's improved from that uh, first one under the belt. Lovely horse and he's, he's come on very well with the extra furlong. Were you ever worried about coming from Kenilworth to Durnville or did you think that he'd handle this type of track? Of course you are, but I have had him here and he, he went around smoothly. In terms of going forward now, Paddy, what, what's the plans for him? I think at the end of the day, he's, he's, going, he's going to be quite a smart, smart miler. That's, that's my impression. Um, but I think he'll come on as we go, and we'll just take one step at a time. Well done to Keith Steinberg. It's my first winner for him. Also my first winner for Mr. Adams. He's not here today. He's working. And well done to Mr. Parker. He's at home. And um, uh, Mrs. Baxmeyer is in... Um, Mid-Africa somewhere, Angola, I believe. <laughs> so well done to her. But we've got some supporters here, and thank you to all of them. And well done to Jeff and Catherine Winshaw. Bred by Litchfield, yeah. Old. Well done, Paddy. I hope this fella goes on further for you. Thank you very much. Quick chat to MJ. Sports in the colours, the same as his bike almost. Tell us about that machine that you came to the races on today. No, I think the weather is actually great for, for a bike in... in, in summer and uh, you know you don't have traffic problems it gives you that free feeling you know what i mean i've always been i've always in, in, enjoyed to be a bit different and to be free so yeah yeah it's great fantastic stuff tell us a bit about this horse he seems to be going the right way and he's put together a really nice performance today yeah pretty smart horse uh, from the first day i rode him uh you know pat said to me he's one of his his nicer cults and and i really like him i, I like the way he's improving um as you saw today, uh, I probably went a bit slow up front, but he was battling a little bit to corner, and, and once he got it all together, he, he won very well. A horse with the future? Yeah, I think he's going to be, you know, the Silvanos seems to, they just improve as they get older, so I think he's got a bright three-year-old career in front of him, you know. And it's great, me and Paddy work quite hard together, it's great to have another winner for him. And I'm sometimes just amazed that he's still got empty boxes, you know, I mean, I think like we all know, people in this game forget quickly. They forgot about me at one stage and now we're back. And uh, I certainly hope some owners would, would take notice. You know, I think he's a great horseman and a great trainer. And uh, we've always been a pretty good team together, so enjoying it. Can that machine of yours beat my Suzu Bucky on the way home? Uh, how much are we putting down? How much are we putting down? <laughs> well, I'm going with the bike too because petrol is getting expensive now because my car's... My car's a V8, and as you know, with V8s, I, I said this morning to Pat, I need to put a pair of blinkers on the car, because every time it goes past the petrol station, it starts hanging, you know what I mean? So, so we're saving money with a bike as well, so it's pretty cool. Fantastic. Well done, MJ. Speaking of V8s, Charlie Cost is upstairs as well. We'll tell you about that later as well. Well done to the guys. Keith Steinberg's on course with the other partners, Neil Pretorius. And well done, Keith. Obviously, you, you love having winners, and this looks like an exciting prospect for you. It does, Grant. Thanks. Yes. Uh, what can I say? It's really nice to have Haley here. Well done to Lionel, Mr. Parker, Neil's here. And of course, Paddy Crayer. I mean, uh, you know, what can you say? You know, probably the most underrated trainer around. And um, well, I think we do. Everybody does rate him. It's, it's surprising, as, as MJ said, that, there's, that he's got empty boxes. But uh, this is a serious horse, I think, uh, in the making. I mean, he told me from day one. And um, let's just hope he goes on from here. Fantastic. Haley, obviously, you've been involved in quite a few horses as well. I have, I have. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, obviously, just tell us, it's obviously a big partnership. How did it come to being? Um, I saw the, the, the colt at uh, Paddy Carrier. He said, Neil, come and have a look at the Silvano colt. And I asked him what was available. He said there was a leg available. And obviously, then he pieced together the others. We were actually, the first time I saw all the other owners was when the first time when he ran. We didn't really know who they were. Well done to everybody involved. And obviously, Two Oceans Racing, lovely to be part with Anna Haley for many, many years. Nice to see her part of it. And uh, watch this space. This can run. Brilliant stuff. So can MJ's motorbike. Well done to all you guys. Very nice result for the first leg of the pick six. Three, six, seven, and two. That's your provisional.